I'm Stephen Brown from Springbank Honey. We're coming to you live from our honey shed in New Zealand. We've been ordered by the management agency to destroy all our boxes. Most of them are off the hive for winter. And they found two swabs with AFE out of six swabs throughout our area. Um, and now they want us to destroy all the hives. We have $2 million of boxes. And if I don't destroy them, they're going to either prosecute me. Um, they're coming on Monday. That's two days away, so we're going to work the weekend and now burn $2 million worth of boxes. Can you please help me? Hey, everybody. Some more really disturbing news as far as bee colonies being forcibly destroyed by governments. Previously, we covered in Australia, the New South Wales government was going around using the Biosecurity Emergency Declaration, saying there was an outbreak of Roa mite, a type of parasite. We then saw the Australian government use an extremely toxic poison called fipronil, a possible human carcinogen, which causes death in animals at very small dosages. And they would just put out baited traps for the wildlife to get into to kill all the pollinating insects. But the beekeepers who were told to destroy their bees cried foul and said the government has not proven anything to us. And as an outside observer, we've seen the government do absurd things, evil things, and they could be working backwards from wanting to destroy the bees and invoking biosecurity law to do so. So how do we distinguish between the two? How do we know if there's really a threat or if the threat was manufactured? Well, more crazy bee destruction is going on, this time in New Zealand. And this time they're blaming something called American Foul Brood, or AFB. And they say they have this special test that they can test for the spores of this bacteria. And then they fear monger about what this bacteria can do. Again, the beekeepers are crying foul, asking the world to help. And I'm no expert on bees, but it sure seems to me that the government has not proven that there's a real threat here. And I can imagine motives for why these governments, New South Wales, Australia, New Zealand, want to destroy the pollinators, want to destroy these huge bee colonies. So here's an update out of New Zealand. I'm not saying that American foul brood isn't a real threat. I'm not sure. But I do see a huge issue with governments unilaterally deciding to kill millions and millions and millions of pollinators without any oversight, without any auditing, without any accountability. And we're seeing this way too often. So is it true that the Australian bees are infected with parasites? Is it true that the New Zealand bees have this bacteria? Or is this a manufactured crisis to kill all the bees? I'll let you decide.